all here to help catalyze positive global impact. This is about making a difference. This is about leading systems change in the extraordinary times that we live in. So I came to EHF with the hypothesis that uh, business could be a tool in support of mission. The piece that I pull together is the ability to bring people together to talk about this, because the revolution is not going to happen if we don't bring everybody with us. Imagine if decisions in the philanthropic sector weren't made by people like me, but were instead made by people in communities that are affected by the funding, that are affected by the decisions that are made. Imagine if our economies, our currencies, our markets were attuned with the patterns that nourish life. What do I do to align my inner compass with that basic good that is in partnership with life and with all life? Where do I learn that? When in my life do I learn that? And what do I do to do that? What can I offer young people to actually learn that and to have that compass inside of them? I think for me, the part of learning that I resonate with most personally is play. Let's use our collective knowledge of history and culture to build better schools. Schools that can foster creativity and imagination among children and youth through arts, culture, and heritage. So our children can understand the complex problems that we have of today and find better solutions with compassion. So we got together practitioners with animators, educators, and programmers, and we built my company, Tech Change. 10 years later, we've reached 100,000 folks in almost every country of the world, and we're one of the largest providers of e-learning for the social sector. Hello Future is a month-long digital literacy boot camp designed as intervention. We provide hardware, connectivity, and in-person training. What we've created is the world's first artificially neural network backed avatar that is to translate content into sign language. Within a couple of years, we like to provide accessibility to everything. Books, website, video, audio to every single deaf person around the globe, no matter what their skin color is, no matter where they're coming from, no matter what sign language they're using. I think that one of the biggest ways that we can help change the world is to change our organizations from within. I help heal organizations. Eat My Lunch is a buy one, give one model, where for every lunch someone buys, we give a lunch to a Kiwi kid in need. In just over three years, we've given a million lunches to kids around New Zealand. I come to you as an organizer, as an agroecologist, as a young farmer, and my work has been in agitating, animating, connecting, celebrating, vocalizing, instigating in the young farmer space. Starting out in the home kitchen, mixing and stirring, then building a factory, creating jobs in our locality, using Kiwi ingenuity to replace dairy with coconuts grown organically. Let's get out in the ocean, get our hands in the soil. This life is about more than computer-based toil. Can business be a tool for good? We say yes, yes it, it can. can. I believe that New Zealand is the perfect place for homegrown Kiwi-approved oat milk that's heat stable. Immigration is, is interesting because I think people look at Silicon Valley and they say, how can we create a Silicon Valley here? Um, and that's an experiment that's been tried all over the world. Um, but really, uh, Silicon Valley is not a place that creates entrepreneurs or wealth or technology. It is a place that attracts entrepreneurs who create wealth and technology. We have a, a big uh, gap in the information ecosystem on green and sustainable finance. Uh, and filling this gap will help to accelerate the rewiring of the global economy towards sustainable business. We will be able to build a $1 million business profile uh, on scale by providing IT services for UN agencies in, uh, in our region, but also the most important, we were able to reduce the annual unemployment rate with 10% among our youth. From a vision of a world without poverty, we've created Webfair. Webfair is an interactive online platform engaging and connecting corporates, consumers and charities. It is a privilege, it is a responsibility and it is an absolute necessity to include nature as a stakeholder. Mountains don't discriminate based on gender. They don't know whether you are a girl or a boy. They throw the same challenges at you and it's up to you how you overcome those challenges. And so standing there, looking at each other in that admiration of how we overcame our fears at that point, we decided that if we do something, we will do something so big 
that we become an inspiration for million other girls in India and around the world that are denied those rights, that are denied those opportunities. We now have at our disposal sensor technology with its radars, water sensors in the water. We can now see our, for ourselves our Papa Tuanuku in a completely different lens. We can see topography, geology, hydrology, and all the other ologies. We can see our cultural data and our wahitapu, our sites of cultural significance in there. We can start to understand for ourselves what is actually going on in real life. I am the Chief Impact Officer and Co-Founder of Clean Choice Energy. Uh, we're the largest private renewable energy supplier in the United States, the leading provider of community solar, uh, and have uh, prevented the emission of uh, over four billion pounds of CO2 emissions in the last six years. We became the first railroad in the United States to run on 100% biodiesel. Um, that was good. My friends then said, you know what? That, that comes out of food crops, you should do better. So we came up with a way, with a way to make diesel out of garbage. New Zealand should be the leading country in the world with regard to renewable energy, it's not far away. 